to death. Yeah, it was really scary. <laughs> but the staff was great, and everybody was wonderful, and they made it as close to home as you could be sitting in a hospital room. You know? Were you a part of Children's Miracle Network before all of this? Um, <laughs> no, not. You have to be honest. Yeah. No, I mean, it's one of those things that you, you hear about it, but, you know, it's never it's never a part of your life. It's always somebody else, you know. Then, then bam, there you are. And then, you know, uh, then you understand a little bit more about what they do and, uh, you know, how how things uh, come to be. Now, Melissa Raciope is with us as well. She's a child life specialist. Now, folks at home may not know what that title means. Explain what your role in, uh, in, in Emily's care was. Well, because of the infection and the surgery that Emily had to have to help with that, she was in a lot of pain. And <clears throat> getting her to get up and to be mobile was part of her requirements for her to go home. So the, the team, the, the nurses, the, the doctors, myself, we all worked together to accomplish that. And part of that was getting her up and just getting her to the playroom, getting her to keep busy. Um, and then it was, in order for her to go home, she had to take oral medication. And <laughs> she's still <laughs> insane. <laughs> Which she was not very excited about. It I was understand. it was a yucky tasting medicine, I have to agree, but she understood that it's something that she needed to do. So we actually worked with her and um, to take her medicine as a rewards chart and when she completed all of her medication, she was able to come back to the hospital and she got a uh, prize or a a present for doing what she needed to do to, to be able to go home. Yeah, yeah. You know, she we it was it was very yucky medicine. So we were able to reward her for doing what she needed to do because it's it's not easy being in the hospital. You get a lot of, of your 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 privileges taken away. I mean, we tell her when when she has to take this medicine and what's going on. So we try to give them choices when we can. So and the hospital is a scary place, especially for a youngster. And so to have the you know your services and the, the team as a whole, uh, speaking for Ron and Sue, this made the, the transition a little bit easier, uh, I, I would assume, and yet these services wouldn't be available if it wasn't for the folks at home and the Children's Miracle Network. So 624-6464 is the number to call. Uh, folks, you said you know you didn't really know anything about CMN until all of a sudden it was right there. I did the same thing. I knew about CMN, but boy, until, you know, it, it it's right there, and you deal with it uh, personally. Uh, it really opens your eyes. So uh, uh, I'm sure encourage your friends and neighbors to uh, to pick up that phone tonight. Believers, supporters from here on out, I'm sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Thank you guys so much, Emily. Thank you for sharing your story, and thank you so much, Mark, for being... Mark. Mark. <laughs> <laughs> I can't really describe you, buddy, right? <laughs> You're four. It's his favorite. You like cookies. <laughs> I pick up the phone and call him, and I 